All right, well, here we go. As we said, my name is Allison Lewis. I'm the founder and the CEO of The 7 Minute Life. We are a time management company. And as the chat gets going, let's hear how many of you are excited that you have an opportunity to have time management today. Make sure that you're putting all of your chat into the panelists and attendees so everyone can see it. So as a time management specialist, someone that created it, my mother says, Allison, you created time management tools because you are at the worst level of time management, procrastination, disorganization. So I created these things to help me. And as you look down here um, at Director of Learning Innovation, we're doing a lot more than just time management. Let me just start with a story that my business used to be focused solely on sales revenue. And you'll see as I give my introduction that sales revenue is still really important, but we had a lot of people making a ton of revenue or their revenue was growing, but they weren't happy with life. They felt like they were overwhelmed and, and it just wasn't enough. And so I think that's why the Florida Realtors has connected so well with me and with my mission and message is that busy was killing me. I mean, literally I was 43 years old. I worked full time as a financial advisor. Um, I was with Morgan Stanley and Merrill Lynch for 30 years. You know, I had teenage children. I was trying to play tennis, trying to keep up with a house. And this is what I was living in. I created this little chart but if you are sensing that busy is killing you, let me just see some amens going through the chat so I can make sure everyone's with me on this. I don't believe that I'm at all alone in this. Um, and so as we go through the seven minute life, we're gonna be talking about clutter, chaos, distractions, interruptions. The number, the top three problems with time management, number one is procrastination. Number two is interruptions. And number three is being disorganized. And so all of these distractions led me to this overwhelming sense of disorganization that I had things everywhere. And it was really hard for me to focus on things. And I hear that from a ton of people. We feel overwhelmed and stuck and frozen. And bottom line is, okay, I'm gonna share this with you. I'm now 60. 60 years old and I always do this, but if you will go ahead and put in the chat, hey, you look really good for 60. I mean, you know, come on, bring it. Let's see, I'm, I, uh, you know, I think I'm getting younger. My mother is 87 and, and so all of these things, but you know, we get frozen. And I talk to people a lot about drifting through life. You know, here I was, I was 43 years old. I was doing well as a financial advisor but I was frozen, I was stuck and I was unhappy. And the word, if you're taking notes that we use is drifting. I was drifting through life. It was like I'd wake up in the morning, the day would go by, I would blink my eyes and the day would be over. Well, drifting is probably one of the most frightening words or frightening things that can happen. It's like we're on a raft in the middle of the ocean and the currents are taking us wherever we go and we just drift through life. We don't take ownership of our day. We don't believe we can actually make some choices. So I always start out the introduction of what is the seven minute life by telling that story. Just take a minute to say time management is important, not because I just wanna get more done and not because I just wanna make more revenue, but it's important because of these things down here. It's important because the world as it is today is really struggling with anxiety and stress. And as I go into these enterprises, we're working with large global enterprises, the mental health aspect of this is crushing. And so just as a little bit about me, um, I have written three books. They're really great. You can get copies of them if you'd like. I've worked with some amazing companies and I think what this tells you is that there's a bottom line foundation that life matters. 
that none of us have enough time and that we really want to create this holistic approach of mindfulness and being aware and conscious that this is the only life we have. Well, the good news is, is that it will also grow your business. And I know that's important as well. I was 22 years old when I started in sales. And so that was a long time ago, but I developed a single sheet of paper. Let me find my planner, a single sheet of paper that looked like this, which we'll come back and I'll show you in full blown, uh, that generated an increase in one year of 62% revenue growth. And I realized that it was like a, a light bulb going off, that I had a problem, that I was overwhelmed. And what I needed was a repeatable process and systems to come around my business so that I could really grow. So if you will put repeatable processes and systems in chat so I can know that you're still with me. Repeatable processes and systems. Let me see the chat start bubbling up. Repeatable processes and systems. It's so important. And when you start with a process, it's not easy. It's not something that we just grab hold of. It's something that has to be learned over time. And so these classes that we're doing right now monthly through the Florida Realtor Association, we're going to begin to grow those and, and make that even stronger. Well, when my business grew through a single process, I became a sales trainer for Morgan Stanley. And the people that did not go through my training were up 14% that year. The people that did go through the training that you're attending right now were up 32% in revenues. So even though this is a holistic approach, it's really way bigger than just making more money. And I love this testimonial um, that we've got. This man, Paul P said, I've hosted more than one solutions driven appointment. That's an entire class on its own. It's where we go out and we bring solutions to our potential customers and we try to do that one a day. So he's hosted more than one a day since the workshop. He had a closing ratio of 40 of 75%. Now these were financial advisors, not um, realtors. He should double his business from last year. But the part that I loved is exciting to see my business grow and I'll continue to love this business. He was 67. 67 years old. So it is about stopping drifting through life. It is about encouraging to make better decisions with you have you spend your time and it is about re-engaging with your work. So I wanted to step back if procrastination is the number one process problem with time management, then what is it? And I think there are four problems that we fight with procrastination. The first one is indecision. Procrastination is really not being able to make a choice of should I work on this or should I work on that? Unfortunately, it's not just an indecision of should I work on this? It's should I do something that will help my business grow or should I watch TV? I mean, there is what we call painful activities like prospecting and they're the really fun things. And so there's this whole push pull of not that I don't even know what to do. I just don't want to do it. So it's this level of indecision of what is important. The outcome of procrastination is that it causes a ton of anxiety. And I'm always asking myself, why didn't I get that done? I knew it was done. But procrastination can also lead to apathy. As our unfinished task stack up one on top of the other until we have like a hundred things that we haven't finished. There's this sense of overwhelming failure. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about you. I'm talking about me. But when I hit this tipping point of I'll never get it all done, I just want to quit trying. And the last thing is when I have that much to do, I just don't know where to start. So I'm going to take a sip of water. Procrastination is really indecision. It's a decision problem. It causes anxiety when we get overwhelmed. We become apathetic and we just don't do it. And then we don't know where to start. So while I take a sip of water, if you'll just put some of the, the your questions I see, is it a lack of energy versus procrastination? 
these are all great great questions so kind of roll through the chat and let me know are these problems you face is it something you'd like help with what are you doing right now to try to overcome procrastination and is it a big problem you know is procrastination as as big as i think it is Um, there was a great question when we started that is procrastination a lack of energy and absolutely this is my water bottle um, i really try to drink a lot of water one of the things that i've done for myself is sleep hygiene it's the most important decision i've made in the last 20 because when you're sleepy and tired and overwhelmed procrastination actually happens more often so what does it look like? I'm a very visual person. So if these are all of the things that you could do, how do you choose which one to do? You know, if you have all these files on your desk, all of these prospects that you need to call, all of these contracts that you need to do just one more thing to finish, how do you know which ones to do? And so when I look at this and I come in and I have no plan of action, what I do personally is if this thing is screaming the loudest, I'll focus on that, whether it's important or not important. Without a plan, I just randomly choose, if each one of these dots were tasks, I just randomly choose the tasks that I think that I think I need to do. With the plan of action, we can come in, look at everything we could do and be very specific and say, this is important this is important this is important so rather than being indecisive we have to make choices of what we will do that's the first solution i'm going to show you how to actually do that the first solution is to learn how to choose so here are the three steps to stop procrastinating and get more done just as we were looking back at this the first point the first step is to ask yourself what activities are going to move me toward my goals today? So if I have all these things I could do, are they moving me forward toward a goal for my business, for my life? And I'm always writing with my mouse, but you have to know your goals. You have to clarify what is it that you want to do? So the first question, the first step is what actions what specific things are going to move me toward my goal there's a problem there's a big problem is that for a lot of us we have not clarified our goals so we procrastinate on things because we don't know if it's important we haven't set a clear direction it's hard to know do i want to sell one house a month do i want to sell two houses a month do i want to get so many listings you know, what are those goals? We've got to have them, we've got to make them very concrete. So the very first way to stop procrastinating is saying, okay, I've got a hundred things I could do, but what is going to make me move towards my goal? And this is the big thing. What actions are going to make me move toward my goal today? The seven minute life is that every day is a clean slate, but you've got to decide what are your long-term goals? You have to clarify them. And then you have to say, what actions today are gonna to move me toward that goal? Once you've written those things down, you have to prioritize them. And then this is the key. You have to create a process and a system that is in writing. And there are no such things as post-it note planning. I don't want any true confessions, but well, maybe I do. How many post-it notes do you have around you? Post-it notes are not a commitment. It's not a process. It's not a plan of action. I would have post-it notes that have been there for two years. And there's actually a, a syndrome called post-it note blindness. Post-it notes have been there so long that we don't even see it anymore. We need a process. We need something that we can do day after day after day. And that's what the seven minute life is about. So let's jump into what it is and how it's going to help you stop procrastinating. The seven minute life is all about having some kind of 
repeatable process that you can use over and over again that will increase productivity, that will physically increase speed. Like we said, first thing you really need to know if you're gonna increase speed is what are your personal goals? We also have programs on how to prioritize what's most important to you, how to discover your purpose, how to re-engage with what you love about life, getting rid of mental clutter. But today we're gonna to be specifically talking about the daily progress report, which is the key to, and I know a lot of you um, have been here before. If you'll go to our website and put the link to the daily progress report in the chat so people can download it. At this point, it's no cost. You can just go in and click the link and download it. So why is it important to have a daily progress report? This is why it's important. When you woke up this morning, it was the beginning of the day. I know this seems like it's kind of just going from the very beginning. This is the end of the day. Time is constantly moving forward and you have a choice Either we're going to wake up and be intentional, not only what we're going to do with our work, but we're going to be intentional about what we want our life to be. What's going to be most important to us? And so really, we need to have a plan of action from the time that we wake up. So you'll see why seven minutes, but we need to have an intentional way to say, here is how I'm going to spend my day. Otherwise, it's either spend it intentionally or just blink your eyes and the day will be over. People come to us for three things, time management, productivity, and efficiency. The problem with those things at the end of the day is the only way you will know if you've spent your time wisely. At the end of the day, you'll know if you've been productive. At the end of the day, you know if you've been efficient. All of these things are backwards looking Time is moving forward. Being able to judge something from a backward looking is, is not helpful. The only thing that we have that is forward looking is action. Waking up in the morning and using a repeatable process to say, these are the actions that I will take today that will move me forward to the goals. So at the end of the day, I can say I have done what I said I would do. Not that I am going to procrastinate on, but that I'm going to make a commitment from the morning and I'm going to get those things done. So why seven minutes? And I hope you'll put your questions in these things as we go in the chat as we go through this. Seven minutes is the key to everything. There are 24 hours in a day and as basic as this seems, we just let the days pass us by and I don't want to do that anymore. So there are 24 hours in a day that breaks down into 1,440 minutes. 1,440 minutes, 1% 1 of that is 14 minutes a day. And you can see where this is going. What would happen if you took just seven minutes in the evening to think about your plan of action? Again, I'm writing with my mouth, so forgive me. What would happen if you took seven minutes in the evening to think, to clarify, to plan, and then you took seven minutes in the morning to rethink, to replan, to, to recalibrate? What would happen if you made conscious choices to take 1% of your time to create a written plan of action? Can you imagine having something in writing and this is why we procrastinate. When we don't have a plan of action, on average, I see that people have roughly 15 things on some kind of to-do list. So if you will in chat, approximately how many to-dos were on your to-do list today? Let's just have y'all put in how many. <laughs> how many? Thank you. Uh, Dorian just said 400. I love this group, 401. Um, so let's just say it's 15. And I'm going through these again with, sorry, I'm having trouble concentrating. I ran out of paper. Kelly, welcome to my club. Um, so let's say that there are 15 things on your to-do list. A lot of times 
it's not even on our to-do list. It's on our don't forget to do list. It's things that we just don't want to forget to do. It's not really actions that are leading us towards a goal. But let's say that we have 15. I'm going to draw this in to my day. So here's task number one. I need to go to the grocery store. Here's task number two. My mother wants to go look at a couch. No kidding. Legit. I've got one more meeting today. And then she wants to take me to a furniture store to go look at a couch. So that's on my to-do list. But having this call, I've been working on a new landing page. But let's say that you have 15 things on your list. It doesn't look like much when it's so neatly organized on a to-do list if you have 15 things. But when you start putting those things visually into your day, you can see why you procrastinate. You've got all this stuff that you could do, but no clarification of what you should do first, what you should do second. All we have is what I call this, this overwhelming choke point where we have so many tasks, it's kind of like a, down here I have a hourglass, it's like so many things are coming in that we hit this choke point and we can't get anything done. And that's why we procrastinate, but it's worse. We also have all the 15 things we didn't get done yesterday and the 15 the day before and every text message, every single thing. And that's why going back to this, that's why we live in this feeling of overwhelmed tasks. Are y'all getting this? Let me just get some feedback because I sense this, you know, when I look at people's unfinished task lists and it looks like this, it's painful. It causes us to shut down. And that's when it, you know, that's when we do procrastinate. And I'm going to try to give you ideas of how to get out of that. So I'm framing the problem. You are not alone. This is something that we all deal with. And so how can we try to make that better? Now, I am going to give information about a new platform that we've got coming out. Um, it's actually out already. I'm not going to make a sales pitch at this point, but I think it's something if you're on this class, you're going to want to know about what we're doing. You're going to want to understand that the processes and repeatable systems, we can't do that once a month. We need to have a community of people and we're just launching this. I know some of you are in this class that have already joined. We've had just a very few beta members joining. So I'm hoping some of you are on this class. Um, and, and, uh, and so we're seeing some things. I am gonna show you now we've moved the landing page uh, to a different place. Let me stop so that if some of you, I'm not gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna stop that. Keep my ink annotations. If some of you wanna go ahead and take a peek ahead of time, you're just going to go to the seven minute life. Whoop. You're going to go to the seven minute life.com. I've updated where this is. Can somebody put that in the website, the seven minute life.com? And I've created an entire link just for the Florida Realtor campus. Can you can y'all see this in the navigation up here, the Florida Realtor campus? Now, some of you are not realtors, but we're seeing a lot of people that want the same information. So thank you, I see it coming in. After this class um, is over, after the web, you know, the key webinar is over, I'm gonna tell you about something that we're partnering uh, with, with the Florida Realtors that is going to be, I think, incredibly helpful for those of you that are looking to, oops, I see a typo, that are looking for these kind of things so that you can spend more time uh, with your family. But I'm gonna continue on with what we're doing. If you want to find out more about that, just stay on the call and we're gonna share a whole bunch more about what that is. It's incredibly exciting. We're glad to be able to bring more of this to you through the Florida Realtors Association. Okay, so we've talked about procrastinating. We've talked about the steps that you, <laughs> that you need. So what is it? Again, if somebody will put in the daily progress report for the download, and I'm seeing questions about the handouts. If somebody will reach out to me and here, um, if somebody will go ahead and reach out to me at this, the seven minute life.com or any of you that want the handouts, if you'll ask me, send an email, we'll send out the handouts to you. 
But this is the repeatable process. This is how we take people from, well, come on. This is how we take people from that whole scattered approach to creating a written plan of action. This is a free tool. It's on our website. It is a single sheet of paper. This process is what grew my business 62%. And I think you'll understand why. As you have a single piece of paper, and I've got mine in a bound book, as you have a single piece of paper, you're creating a rhythm of how you can plan out your day so that instead of having thousands of things to choose from, you can narrow that in and prioritize the things that are most important to your job, that are most important to your family, that are most important to your personal well being, to your faith, to your exercise, all of those things. Very first thing about overcoming procrastination is being able to use the tool, the seven minute life daily progress report. And can you see that I'm putting a little circle in the date? And then I'm going to put 10 6 here. These are undated pages. The very first thing that I do when I wake up or when I get to the office is I date my planner. So let me see if I can't find today's. Hang on. I actually physically put a date in my planner. Let me just stop sharing so you can see what I do. I always think it's easier if I show you. So here's what I did. I had a sheet of paper. You can download the daily progress report. First thing I did is I put my Tuesday and the date that I was going to be doing this. The second, sorry, I'm going backwards. The second thing I did, can you see my seven minute life up there? I give myself credit when I take my seven minutes to plan. It'd be kind of bad if I didn't take the seven minute life. And so then I wrote down the things that I needed to do. So I had a big old list of things that I needed to do. Actually, I've already done several of these. I've done that one, that one, this one, hadn't marked them off yet. So I've got three things I haven't done, but I've done five things. And then I started to really work on getting this ready. If you have a written daily plan of action, you can see that when I, let me stop sharing one more time. You can see I didn't have a hundred things to do. I had like seven, eight things to do. It's a whole lot easier to get eight things done than it is to get 15 or a hundred things done. So I created a written daily plan of action. I put my notes in and I, as I wrote down the date, I took ownership of my day. We all feel like we're drifting through life because circumstances are making that happen. When I believe, yes, circumstances are crazy, but we can at least make a conscious effort to take care of things that are important to us. You know, it, it does come down to being able to make choices as we go through. One of the most frightening things that I see is that in order to create a written plan of action, you do have to create a to-do list. You have to know your goal, and then you have to write down all the things that you could do. So this is where you create your to-do list. And then you really learn to think about what you need to do. This think is the problem that we have. We have not learned how to truly think about how to plan our day. And so what happens is we wake up, we hop in the shower and a thousand things start running through our mind. And of course, the mind is a very unreliable capture tool. By the time I walk into a room, I've, a lot of times I've forgotten what I've even walked into the room to get. But when we wake up with a thousand things on our mind, how in the world are we going to know which of those things are important and which aren't? We have to learn to sit down and think. Now, one of my favorite quotes is from Dawson Trotman. He says, my thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through my fingertips. My thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through my fingertips. That's why I think writing everything down is so important. Don't just let it be mental clutter. Let it be written down. And so the next step of this is what do you think about? You know, we've had a lot of people in our classes and they say, okay, Allison, I'm not even sure what to do during my seven minutes. 
So the good news is we're coming out with a mobile app. It's actually on the app store. It's in test flight mode, so it's private. You cannot, you cannot get it yet, but we're excited about that. That should be coming out in about a month. But take a screenshot of that. Oh, what is the quote again? My thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through my fingertips. My thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through my fingertips. The subconscious mind has 11 million thoughts per second, bits of information, 11 million. The conscious mind has 40, is able to process 40 bits of information per second. So we have all this stuff worrying through our mind. The only way we can do that is to bring up some of it into conscious level. That's what we call thinking. And the way I know how to do that is just to write it down. You know, I have to learn how to think, but what do I need to think about? Take a screenshot of this. Um, this is coming out in our, in our platform that we're gonna be talking about on the Florida Realtor campus. When the app is ready, you'll have full access to that. But if you take a screenshot of that, if you're gonna procrastinate or overcome procrastinating, stop working on things that are not leading you towards a goal. Um, focus on the few things on the projects that you have in progress. So you wanna think about what am I working on? You know, one of the things we're working on right now, the biggest project is launching the Florida Realtor Campus. So every morning I come in, I look at that project, I look at the progress, and then I create a to-do list of things I could do. I might write down 15 things. And then I'll go back to the day before and I'll look at what I was able to get done yesterday. So this was my list yesterday. You can see it looks like I didn't get a lot done, but I was writing. And so that was kind of exciting. So look at what you did. Look at your week ahead. You're thinking through what meetings do I have? Who should I be calling? Who should I be setting up meetings with? Look at the paper on your desk. Look at the voicemail and the text, the email. This is what I wanna help people begin to think about. We're so overwhelmed with things, we've kind of shut down and when we don't think about what's most important, we procrastinate because we'll do something that's more fun rather than something that takes an effort to get it done. So I set my timer for seven minutes. The app starts counting backwards to zero. I go into my morning review. I'm asking self, what is my goal for today? And then we call it creating your five before 11 list. If I were only to get five things done, out of all the things that I could do, what if I got those done? And we call that creating your five before 11 list. You'll see it right here. What will I do five before 11? So even if I have 15 things on my to-do list, what are the five most important? If I can't get 15 done, what are the five that are highest value and most important? I'm gonna stop there for a second. I'd love to see some feedback. This is a new piece of really helping people organize a process of thinking. These are the repeatable processes and systems. So I'm going to just take a breath and ask you to kind of reflect back on this and, and what are you seeing about thinking? The app is going to, we're not sure about the co cost of the app, but the app is going to come with the Florida Realtor <clears throat> um, membership. Yes, it'll be in Windows, Android, um, Mac, iPad, iPhone. It's not available yet. And that's part of what we're doing right now is we have people that are in the beta group um, that are actually helping us build it. And some of you that join the campus will want to be part of it. But yes, um, I'll make that more clear. The app is being built. It's actually on my phone. And so I'll stop again for just a second. So when I open my phone, I don't know if you can see that, the seven minute life, can you see the app? And then when you open it, it brings you into a, let me log into it screen. So I'll log in and it, ha it has all of these pieces. I don't know if you can see that. Can't really hold it still. 
It has all these pieces, the daily progress report, the life planner, the videos and the goals. So we're testing that right now. It's pretty exciting. Um, but even, you know, an app's not going to really solve anything until we know how to make things happen. So this whole five before 11 is the key. If you're struggling with, with procrastinating, set a timer even after you get off this call for seven minutes. Set your phone, turn it over, create the entire to-do list, write everything down that you could do, and then choose the five things that you will commit to accomplish before 11 a.m. Now, the five before 11 is intended to be five high value actions that you can start and completely finish and check off your list. So not being indecisive, not feeling apathetic, not feeling overwhelmed, not feeling like you don't know what to do. These are the things. So basically you're taking all of the things that you could do, you're filtering them through these pieces of what projects am I working on? What's on my to-do list? What have I finished? What meetings do I have? You're taking those pieces you're thinking of it, you're bringing it into your conscious mind and you're filtering it down until you come down to five things. And you're making a choice, a stake in the ground. You're determining if I get nothing else done, I'll get these five things done. Now, I'd love to hear some wows. Go ahead, just go ahead and type wow before I even, before I even, yeah, come on. We got, we got tons of people on the call. Go ahead and say wow, because this is gonna, this is going to blow your mind. You know, we talk about the five before 11. If you were just to accomplish five tasks for one week, five times seven days, you'd accomplish 35 high value actions. So now go really wow. You know, let's say wow, wow. I don't know, man, I'm crazy. Um, but can you see the power of this that we call these micro actions, not procrastination, not doing 15 things. But if you could do this just for one week, taking 35 high value tasks, waking up in the morning, writing down what's most important to you, knowing at the end of the day, if I just accomplish these five things, I can get to, and this is the key, I can get to done for the day. There is a ton of guilt that comes with us when we look at our checklist and we didn't get anything done. There's this overwhelming sense of, I have to stay up until one o'clock to finish this. But what if you could just do five things, five things? And we've gotten a lot of questions about the worksheets and I'll try to come back there. I'm gonna spend about five more minutes on this that I'm gonna open it up to Q and A. Um, but I, uh, Stacy, amen, I see this. I haven't been done for a day in 20 years. It gets bigger. The Seven Minute Life Daily Planner is a 90 day platform. There are only 90 pages in here. But what if you could get five high value tasks accomplished for 90 days? If you just did five tiny micro actions that were important, that were prioritized, that you would choose not to procrastinate on, in 90 days, you'd accomplish 450 micro actions. And no, the, I see, did the five things have to be work related? Absolutely not. One of my five things is taking my mother to look at a couch. You know, those things are important, but that's gonna take a lot of time. Yes, thanks, Mike, holy wow. I love that this, this procrastination thing happens because we're living in the choke point. You know, let me even go back farther. This is what procrastination looks like. And so we have to be able to break free of that and come down to, okay, this is what I have to do today. I can't get all of that done. Time management is really not about doing more. It's about doing less but doing more of the important things because every time you let an action into your day, you are automatically knocking something else out. So by attending this class today for an hour, you were knocking out another hour. 
by watching whatever TV show you're watching for two hours, you're knocking out two hours of your life. So we have to balance these things, but the best time management is pruning out the unimportant. And so that's why we have five before 11. Now, just talking about the work, what happens if you say, here's my goal, it's very clear. And you say, how can I reach that goal? And you're looking at these things. And out of that, you narrow it down to what are the five things I'm gonna do? And you start and complete it. You don't start and stop, start and stop. You actually start and completely finish it. We do get a lot of questions about what happens here with daily contacts. Let's see if I can't go back and get rid of these ink annotations, hang on. Where are they? There, let me stop this and then I'll, I'm gonna discard the ink annotations that'll make it easier for me and go here. You know, if we had more time and I'm happy to answer questions about these, um, again, I'm gonna be quitting in just a minute. But I, when I said that this single sheet of paper increased my revenue by 62%, the reason it did that is because I had really a laser focus one of the things we hear over and over again is I don't have a clear direction. I'm out of focus, I'm all over the place and we try to do too much. So it's this sheet of paper, but originally with daily contacts and sales, the more people I started calling, the more money I made as a stockbroker. And I found out at that time that the average stockbroker made nine outbound calls a day. Now, Guys, if you're in real estate and we're prospecting, we got to make more than nine calls a day. I mean, you know, that's one an hour. And so I realized and I was 22 when all this started and I was, I don't know, this happened in 94. So I would have been 34 when I started doing this. I realized that I, if I made 18 prospective calls a day, I would do twice as much business as everyone else. And so I went from where people were making one call per hour to a whopping, I made two calls per hour. Isn't that crazy? And all of a sudden I started doubling what they were doing. It's that getting more of the right things done. Now I'm not prospecting as much. Now these are actually what I call daily actions. So I can track how many actions I accomplish. Some of those may be, um, some of those things may be actually perspective calls, but let me open this up. But this is what my planner looks like now. And then I'll, I'll be happy to, you know, really start asking and answering questions. So here's, here's a planner. This was from August 11th. Can you see how many people I talked to that day? I had my five before 11. I ended up doing a lot of things that weren't on my five before 11. I made a ton of actions and phone calls. And so by ending up looking at this, well, that's a Wednesday. Okay, true confessions, this was a Wednesday. I don't know what I was doing on that day. Maybe I didn't have my planner with me. Boy, that's embarrassing. Can you see, can you see how all of this matters? And I've been doing this a long time. So here was July 29th. It becomes predictive. When you have some kind of system, whether you're printing off the daily progress report and just using it for free, or if you are gonna be able to come in and Keith, I'm gonna stop right now and at, answer that question. If you can come in and get a lot of things done, it's really easy to see how your day is gonna go. It's that repeatable process and that repeatable system. Keith, I'm gonna come to your question, is there a time? So I'm gonna go into questions now. Go ahead and put your questions into chat. And um, again, if you wanna find out more about the Florida Realtor Campus, it's not just for realtors, but it will really help people as they grow their business. Um, so Keith asked, Allison, is there time to talk a little on the overview or summary of your entire system? Long range planning goals, quarterly, weekly, daily planning, reviewing how all the pits pieces fit together and how we can stay focused on the main important things. All right, so 
Uh, Keith, thank you for your question. Keith and I only know each other a small bit, but I'm gonna go back to, to this. There, get rid of these annotations. Stop, discard ink annotations, discard ink annotations. So this is how you can really understand the entire platform is that time management has got to be more than just getting more done. If some reason I could wave a magic wand and have your entire to-do list of 150 things done the question would be, would it have made a difference in my life? And for most people, the answer is no. We want to get things done, but the overview of the seven minute life is life. It's about being able to take a step by step trip towards what is most important to you. So here's an example. When was the last time you stepped out of the noise? You remember there's 11 million subconscious thoughts a day and began to take a pen, Dawson Trotman, my thoughts disentangle themselves when they pass through my fingertips. And you decided to say, these are the important parts of my life. Is it love, friendships, achievement? The process of the seven minute life, you cannot be efficient or productive or stop procrastinating until you have very clear, succinct goals. It's really hard to live a life with meaning until you understand your purpose in life. And purpose is always outward focused. It's what we do forever for others. It's what we do for others. It's hard to stop procrastinating until you know what you love to do at work. If there are things that you love to do, do more of those things. I happen to like to prospect. I love being out in front of people. So Allison, do those things. I hate administrative pieces. So either I have to make myself, like I have to chunk out a time where I'm just gonna do the things I hate or I have to delegate them. You can't be an, or overcome procrastination unless you know what your strengths include. You have to have good project management. There are a lot of people that come to me and say, I'm just so overwhelmed with mental clutter. I've got COVID, I've got finances, I've got home, I've got work, I'm new to being a real estate agent and I don't know what to do. I'm old as a real estate agent and I'm worn out, all of these things. So the seven minute life is this blended mindful wholeness that comes down to a single daily piece of paper that actually helps you understand the things that are most important to you. And you can go back and look through it. Um, you know, they're just, they're just so many things that can help. Um, Sandy says, I ordered your calendar. Thanks, Keith. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. Bree, this is a great question. Please address interruptions by kids, spouses, or calamity tasks that pop up along the way. That is probably the most powerful question. Thank you for asking that. Here's what happens during the day. Let me get rid of these ink annotations. Stop share. Hang on one second. I didn't mean to stop sharing. Look at me. Let's get rid of this. Discard my ink annotations. And come back in. That didn't discard. So this is exactly what you're talking about, Bree. This is the morning. This is when you wake up. You've taken your seven minutes, you have a written plan of action, you've got five things that you're going to do. You've kind of said, I'm going to not procrastinate on these five things. And then all of a sudden, then something happens. So now you're, you're clearly working on this first task. The task is, let's say it's going to take you 20 minutes to complete. So this is what complete looks like. Right in here, your daughter comes in and says, I'm having trouble with my Zoom call with my, with my whatever, um, with my history class. And so we've gotten a project halfway done. This is a class on interruptions. We've been interrupted 
The problem with interruptions, and this is, this is what the science says, is when we're interrupted, it takes approximately 23 minutes to come back to that task. So interruptions are very dangerous. And the problem is we can't stop that. We can, I can help you with that, but I can't stop it. So what ends up happening is you're working on this task, you're interrupted, 23 minutes later, you come back to your desk and you start working on something new and this never gets completed. Can I hear a yes, that makes sense in the chat? It, it's a real problem. So now you're working on this task, this, remember that everything that comes into your life knocks something else out. What happens to me is that task that I was working on when I'm interrupted, it's like a dry erase board. It's kicked out of my brain. And now I'm focusing on a new task. I have good intentions of getting it completed, but now I get a text message or something pops up. And now I've got another 23 minutes that are gonna go by and I'm still not gonna get this task done. And so here's what the seven minute life will do is that let's say you have five tasks that you wanna get done and they're written down. When you have a task that you've said, I'm going to move to here to here, and you're interrupted, you come right back to your planner. You come right back to your planner. It becomes habit and you say, okay, I was working on this task. Let me come right back to it. So instead of moving 23 minutes and wasting all that time, this becomes like a, like a rubber band. I've been stretched out, but all of a sudden now, I can come back and focus on these things. So this really begins to be a, a light guide, you know, where, where you're focusing in. And when you get pulled away, you can come right back. You get pulled away and you can come right back. And we got questions earlier about personal things. Yes, the glass doctor, my car windshield got hit by a rock. So I had to go let my car thing be fixed that day. But I could easily come back and get things done. So we've got time for probably two or three more questions. I want to make sure that that if you're interested in finding out how you can understand more about the Florida real estate campus, are there any other questions? Stacy says, I have a terrible time getting back to what I was doing after interrupted. I feel like my whole day is start, stop, start, stop, never finish it all. I'm left tired and defeated over and over again. It's, it's like it's never getting to enough. We don't ever get enough. Um, Melissa says, is this being recorded? Yes, it's being recorded. These are public classes that are done for the Florida Realtor Association. I'll be posting it on YouTube. And so I'm sorry that you missed the first 15 minutes. Are there any other questions? Because I want to make sure that we have time to show you how all of this can fit together for you. All right, well, I'm gonna switch over to see how we can help you. Feel free to ask questions as always, as we're moving into, we're incredibly um, excited about what is coming with the seven minute life. So we've, we've showed all the problems. We've said that the Florida Realtor Campus is coming up. So, oh, if you want a daily planner, um, you can go to Amazon and get them. That's not a big, profit center for us because we basically use them, you know, it costs us a lot of money to make these. So anyway, but we want you to have them. That's not what we want to do. Um, I mean, pl selling planners is not, is not our key business model, but I just got a question about the sleep. That's something that I think we can um, cover in another class. So Creating your five before 11 is the big takeaway for today is defining the five highest value micro actions that you're going to commit to. You're taking that seven minutes in the morning to go from here, a thousand things I could do to here are the five things that I will attempt to get done before 11 a.m., but it's okay if it's 11 p.m. And sometimes I write down five and I get one done, but that's one more than I would have done had I not thought about it. Um, when you look at this image, 
this is what most of us see as a day. It's completely out of focus. We don't have any clarity. We don't know what we're looking at, but some of you will have seen this before. What is this actually an image of? What is this actually a picture of? Any ideas, any guesses? It's a cow. If you've seen this before, this is actually the head of a cow. This is an ear. This is the cow's jawline. This is another ear up here. Let me know when you can see it. Just say, I see it now. This is its head. This is an eye. This is an eye. These are the little noses. Can y'all see it? Let me help. Now, can you see it? This is the problem that we have, is that until we recognize with procrastination or all of these other things, that this is not how life has to be. We don't have to live out of focus without clarity. So many of us just don't realize there are other options. There are other options. We can bring life into, into clear view. And that's what this seven minute life camp, campus is gonna be. It's gonna be at the end of the day, were you able to say, did I do what I said I would do today? Yes or no? It becomes a, well, it kind of becomes a yes or no question, but here's what we're doing. Uh, we're partnered with the Florida Realtors Association and we're creating a learning platform. We're not just going to come with one webinar a month, which I think is incredibly helpful, but we're building out an entire platform that's going to include the desktop app, the mobile applications, downloadable planners. All of our tools will be there. And let me just go ahead for those of you that are wondering what it costs and then I'll come back. But some of you probably do have another place to go, but we're trying to create this campus to change lives, to provide content just like this, where it's not super fancy. I'd really like to be able to have less content and more questions about how can I make this part of my life. And so along with the Florida Realtors, we have created a weekly platform that is going to be live weekly webinars just like this. We're going to be actually doing that. Are any of the tools offered in the realtor program customized to a realtor's business? They will be with your help. So you'll see some of the pieces that we're doing as I go in through this, but I'm coming at this from, you know, a ton of people that we do business with. We are creating this specifically for realtors. Now there'll be other people that will want to join in. You know, we have high school seniors that I think should be watching these things, but the live weekly webinars are going to be very similar to this and they're going to have lots of Q&A. You'll have a copy of the downloadable daily planner. I'll show you the tools in a minute, but there are 28 downloadable tools that are those repeatable processes and systems. And, you know, you can cancel at any time. We have a 30 day money back guarantee. But guys, this is $20 a month. That is $5 per webinar. And I came to a point in life where I hit this tipping point and I said, I can't do this alone anymore. I need to have that accountability of week after week after week of just getting prompted that, oh, I didn't do my five before 11 of, hey, let's work through our unfinished task. Or was I really thoughtful about making sure I did something that I was grateful for, was kind to somebody? So it's this week by week piece that's important to, I think, so many of us. So the weekly, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the basic plan is $20 a month, or you can save money as a discount for $197 a year. The premium platform is $50 a month or $497 a year. And the difference is you'll have lifetime access to all of the replays. So here you actually have to show up. You actually have to come to the class and show up. Here you'll have access to all the video replays. My crazy little YouTube channels had 1.8 million minutes watched. So you'll be able to just turn on a video if you miss it. These public ones, I will have recorded it up on YouTube, but all of these weekly webinars will be recorded only for the members. In addition, we're gonna have office hours with live Q&A. 
you'll have unlimited access to our online course and you'll get a physical copy of the planner. So that's the $50. I'm also hoping there's some of you that run branches, that run groups that would like to be a part of this. Everything's included in the enterprise and discounts start with 10 people. So if 10 of y'all wanna to get together and say, hey, I don't wanna pay $20, we want a discount on that, whether it's 100, the enterprise, we're also training people to teach this inside their, their branches. And of course, there's on-site training as well. So all of those pieces. So let me take you there. If you will, go to the sevenminutelife.com. Can somebody type that in? Go to the sevenminutelife.com. I guess I could type it in, couldn't I? The sevenminutelife.com. So just go to our home page. Go to a new screen here, new private window, the seven minute life .com. Com. And this is what it looks like. This is our website. You go to the navigation and you click on Florida Realtor Campus. So let me know when you're there. Have you gotten to the Florida Realtor Campus? There's still a ton of you on this call. So I wanna make sure you're able to go to the top navigation bar on our homepage and click on Florida Realtor Campus. If you can say, yes, I'm there. Yep. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne is not a realtor. She's one of my friends and is very involved in education. So big shout out to uh, Suzanne. I love it when educators are involved. I'd love to actually create a, an education campus for high school students and college students, because, you know, we really all have the same problem. But in working with the realtors, the problem is that real estate profession is, is falling short when it comes to well-being. Let me see if I can't blow that up a little bit. You know, it's not just realtors, but we're all, you know, in this place Surprisingly, the real estate industry has the second highest clinically diagnosed depression rate among a wide range of, um, of occupations. I'm still seeing people saying, what is the link? Let me try to put that in there. This is the specific link. Thank you. I'm hoping that'll help. Um, and depression is a real problem you know, for all of us. Um, just true authenticity. I worked so hard when I say busy was killing me, it was killing me. I mean, I was very successful, but I was unhappy and I struggle and probably still struggle with anxiety and stress. So, you know, I know I'm not alone in that, but real estate has a very high range of well-being problems. And I think a lot of that is because they're helping people make one of the biggest buying decisions of their life. You know, you have a lot of competition. There's a lot going on. You're, and I love this sentence, real estate practitioners are extremely giving of their time, energy, and resources, and they work long hours, leaving little room for your own well-being. And you're already stretched to the max. Let me just hear, this was written by the Florida Realtors helping me put up the information. Does this sound true to you? Is that we're just overwhelmed. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. And Brittany Wren, believes that a work-life balance deficit in the real estate profession is part of why 13% of practitioners leave in the first year. 13% turnover. Hey, I see somebody, Stacy, thank you for signing up. And Brittany says, we aren't taught how to put up boundaries to be productive rather than busy. We're running around frazzled only leads to fizzle. I love what she says. We need to know our limits because if we don't, it only ends up hurting, overwhelming, and stressing us out. So the seven-minute solution is very different. I'm going to go back to this PowerPoint, and I'm going to pull this up. If you have any industry that you're in, this is why I do what I do. When you're working any industry, I want to reignite the productivity and meaningful work in your life. So here's what this campus is going to do. It's a weekly webinar. It's 
every week of being able to come together and look at things. Remember when we talked about time, whoop, remember when we talked about, come on, wrong way, about time, that time has a starting point and an ending point. So let's say this is a 10 year time. There are certain pieces of life that we call human capital, our time, our effort, our energy, our emotion, and money, you know, whether we're putting money out or increasing revenue and bringing things in. So a lot of companies and businesses and coaches, and they only talk about time. But what I want to do with the seven minute life and with the Florida Realtor campus is I want to talk about your human potential. I want to help people see who they can be and what life can be like. There's a, an anecdotal statement about Eskimos having 30 words for snow. Well, they can experience snow or a wine uh, connoisseur that has a hundred words for what that experience is like. Is it oaky or tanny? Well, you know, they're going to experience that or an art person that can really understand it. The more words you have, the more experiential it'll become. I don't believe the workforce or education, children, high school, college, really almost anyone, but I don't believe people have a vision of human potential. What I believe is happening right now is that we are living in this current place of uncertainty where we need clear direction, we're overwhelmed. This is what we've talked about with procrastination today. We don't have focus. Everything's unfamiliar right now. You know, we're trying to work from home. There is a tremendous amount of stress with children being at home. Everything takes more effort. So our productivity is falling. Everything takes more time. But this is what I really believe is that undercurrent of how can we make life better for people? Oop, sorry. What I want to do with the seven minute life and with this continual learning platform is I want to help you understand that this is the future. I want to be able to let people put words around what you want your life to be. I want you to say, here's where I am today, but I have the potential to experience life through these lenses. And the only way we can do that is to take it from the subconscious of where we're spinning through life so quickly that we don't even have time to take a breath to a weekly platform where we can take our lives from subconscious drifting through life into a one hour of here's what really matters. Here's how I can organize my day. Here's how I can improve my time management. Here's how I can understand my purpose in the world. How can we make a difference? How can we be our better selves? But let's put words around that. What would it look like if you could take time to step out of the noise and just put words around love or passion or purpose? Productivity leads to all of these things. As realtors or as educators, we want meaningful work. And I want to have excitement, engagement. We've got to be able to retain people. And, and I'll show you what that looks like. I want to experience life, not just have experience. I want to do things that are experiential. I want to feel happiness. I want to laugh out loud. I want to grow. Flow is a, is a psychological term. When I'm writing a book, I'll start writing, let's say at 8 p.m. And all of a sudden I'll be so swept up in writing that I'll blink my eyes and it'll be two in the morning. I won't have eaten anything. I won't have even gotten up to go to the restroom. I will be so in the moment that it sweeps me away. When was the last time you had that experience of being swept away or having some of your work take possession of your heart and soul? Well, you can't just do that. We have to have a place, a place to understand that. And over time, we can develop mastery. And I need more wisdom in my life. When should I quit? You know, at what point should I stop and go do things with other people? And I want the seven minute life to make a difference in the world. And I want to challenge everyone in the learning platform to say, yep, 
life can be different and I'm gonna work on it day by day with repeatable processes. And we're gonna do this together guys with innovation, with leadership, we're gonna have clear direction, this continual learning and the end goal of the seven minute life is I wanna make a difference, a social difference all around the world. So here's what it looks like without the seven minute life campus. Is that here we are, this is let's say a 10 year span in our journey that the first three or four years of a new job, we have kind of a slow learning path because everything's hard. Now I'm gonna go back to the realtors. We have to get licenses. You have to learn how to write contracts. You have to understand the law. You have to work with title companies. You have to prospect. You have to actually run your own business. How much am I gonna spend on marketing? How much am I gonna spend on health? There's this whole learning curve. Even where is the toner in the office or or whatever those things are. There's a tipping point that hits for almost everyone when we become confident in what we're doing, when we actually have that undergirding of knowledge. And it's at this tipping point that our lives and our jobs can begin to do this really exponential growth. There's this unfortunate messy middle where we've just kind of slogged through it step by step. What I wanna do with the Florida Realtor Campus and with the help of people like you is I wanna have a specific platform of learning so that when you come in as a member of the Florida Realtor Campus, you begin to have words. First step is to be able to see how time matters, to see human potential, just to have that, that breath of life can be different. I wanna hang out with people that have energy. I wanna hang out with people that aren't afraid to say, this is hard or challenging. I wanna help put words around that. And then we have not been able to create this yet, but we wanna be able to have a peer-to-peer, -peer, whether it's a Facebook group or online masterclasses, we wanna be able to put you in small groups where you can actually talk about it. And then the following week, come back up, talk about it, week, talk about it. So these actually could be years. But imagine if you had some kind of a continual learning path, a platform with community members where you could take your skill sets to here rather than slogging through to here. Let me just see what you're saying because this is new for us. I, I want you to be able to see what the whole platform does, but I would love some comments of why this is so relevant right now. And even if you're a realtor and could be able to be in the realtor class and take it back to your children, I'm just gonna take a sip of water. So let's go back and look at what it's gonna look like. I want you to actually experience it. Um, so again, you go to our main website, you click on the Florida Realtor Campus. These are your choices, $20 a month, $5 a week. Um, it's actually cheaper than that because I'm gonna give a discount. But let's actually go and look and see what it, it looks like. When we come to a place, you're gonna have weekly webinars that will be available to you. I'm gonna come in and show you kind of the behind the scenes, let me get there behind the scenes of the new website. So now y'all are getting a sneak peek. This is the mobile application. The mobile application will be part of the Florida Realtors. This is a beta format. I want you to understand this is not completely finished. You'll be part of the charter members, part of those very basic group that are gonna help us build this out, but you'll have the daily progress report You'll be able to create a life plan. You'll have access to the videos. You can be able to come in on the live videos if you have the $20 plan. If you have the $50 plan, all the videos are gonna be here. You'll be able to set the goals. You'll be able to register. You're gonna have access, whoop, this is just the video, the app. You'll be able to add goals, tasks, take notes. You'll be able to look at all of the things that are in the planner you will have it in the palm of your hand. So you can write a note. You can create test projects. You can set how long they're gonna be. And so let me go to a different platform and show you the actual 
live desktop. This is actually, you're seeing it really for the first time. This is not complete, but when you come into the daily progress report, you'll have the five before 11, the to-do list, the unfinished tasks, all of the notes. When you open your daily planner, make this a little smaller, you'll be actually able to come in and type, what's your five before 11? Well, it's to call and Ralph. Let's say that that's one of mine. And so when I create it, it will go onto the list. I can create notes. I can create unfinished tasks. I can do all of those things. And as this finishes being built out, we had a question about, will it be customizable for realtors? Yes, you'll be able to create any kind of container that is relevant for you. And you'll be able to drag it into whatever location you want, hit print, and it will print it out. You'll be able to go back if you choose forward in days or backwards in days. And so all of these pieces are here and available for you to go. Under the life plan, this is so cool. It's, it's right here where you go through a process of learning and stepping through piece by piece of who you want to be. And so the process of getting started, I am getting those question is, at, if you go to the Florida Realtor campus, and then I'll begin to wrap it up. You just go to the seven minute life to this. I'll put the link back in. The next step to get started is to click on that link, go to the very bottom. You'll see what is going to be involved. You can save 25% on these platforms by using the code realtor. If you've already signed up and didn't know about that, we'll fix that for you. So you just come all the way down. And let's say you want to be the $20 a month platform. You just click on that join for $20 a month. And then you'll fill out your information. Is that helpful? I do want to be able to answer questions. There are frequently asked questions at the bottom. This is a new platform. Those of you that join are going to be, are going to have a lot more access to me because we're building it out for you which is really exciting. Um, I've already been meeting with some people that, you know, are, are helping me understand. Here are the pieces. Let me stop sharing my screen for one second. I'll pull up uh, another platform so you can see a little bit more. Um, let's see if I can't bring this down. Hang on. I've got to open it with Google Sheets. All right, let me open this back up. This will give you a little more information about it. This was a, um, let's see, chat. This was a presentation I made to our investors where I actually oh, tried to click on the one-year premium. It won't work. Um, let me fix that. Is there an option for coupon? Yes, the coupon is Realtor. Whoop, Realtor. That'll save 25%. Let me get the link. Hang on, I'm gonna go into the back end. Let me, let me stop sharing for a minute. I don't want anyone to not be able to buy. This is really important work. This is gonna be life altering, I think for me as well as for those of you that joined. Um, let me get the link. Courses, Realtor Campus. I see. And so was it, which was it the premium annual plan? Let me go back to the chat. Was it the premium one year premium? Okay. Here's the one year premium. Can you, will you click on that and see, and also you'll receive a, uh, if you put in realtor, the coupon code realtor, there'll be a discount real tour. Are the coupons working? That worked great. Um, and so let me go back to show you one additional thing. And then I think that we'll uh, wrap up. Let me see if I can't share my screen. Share screen. This will be the last piece, but we're very 
happy and excited to be able to do this because this is my mission is that I want to help people change their lives seven minutes at a time. Um, it's that whole seven minute life. Does the coupon work for the daily planner? It does not. Um, but Melissa, if you, since you've been on this call, if you will, uh, if you will let me know, send me an email. I will make sure that you get that discounted price because I want to. And any of any of you that want to buy it at a discount, feel free. I'll have to manually change that. Um, but we do want to change lives. You know, we want to help people. Um, and so this is what's going to be coming out. You know, I, I can't release everything yet because we are not through building. But time is your most valuable currency. We're going to help people improve their time management, organize your life, get more of the right things done, be your best self, get rid of mental clutter, achieve meaningful goals, be happy and be mindful. You can see, I hope a little bit of this, where when you click on the prioritize, you're going to be able to go through it digitally. You'll still have access to print. You'll have access to mobile. All of this talks to each other and it'll eventually talk to your Apple work. Do you work on developing purpose too? Yes. Linda, please reach out to me at that email. I want to sit in a, in a meeting. You know, these there's several people that have already joined last week. And we had a meeting with just a very few number of us. And we talked about what's important. For you, those of you that are signing up right now to be charter members, I want to know what purpose is. It's that whole bringing words around it. So, you know, these are the kind of things that we're creating. This is why I created it. This whole piece of productivity and meaningful work. That's my heartbeat. I want to live that life, that future life. Okay, so now y'all are getting to see the inside scoop. Okay, so I want y'all to type in cool. This is so totally cool. This is the actual app. Uh, it's in test flight right now. It will probably be six weeks. But for those of you that are charter members, we're going to let you test it and tell us Oh my goodness, this doesn't work. This button doesn't work or there's a typo. I mean, y'all are truly, truly, truly on the inside scoop. So we need you to join. We need you to, you know, tell people whether you're a realtor or not, you know, help us get the excitement going. So when you log into the app, uh, you'll have an opportunity to go through the learning and the onboarding to go through all of the productivity. Um, and then, this, you know, like discovering your purpose. It's what is my purpose? What do I love about life? I typed in my own purpose words. Oh, phone number on it with, with my phone number, our phone number. Let's see, 870-897-4494. Okay, y'all, there, there's still just under 100 of you on the phone, but I'm giving out my personal cell phone. We had 500 people join us. They're just under 100. So now y'all are in that. That's my personal cell phone. The best way to reach me is to text me. Don't tell everybody I gave out my personal cell phone. But um, feel free to text me because we want help in this. Um, so you'll be able to create a life plan about what your priorities are, discovering your purpose. What are you grateful for? Every day you'll be able to type in, here are the two or three things I was grateful for. Who are you today? Who do you want to be? These were my purpose words. Um, so when I get kind of down, I can pull up the app and I can say faith, family, compassion, freedom, peace, simplifying my, whoops, simplifying my life. Where did that go? Go back. Back, go back. Peace, making a difference, health, serving others. When I'm having a tough day or not getting things done, I want to be able to open the app and hold those words in my hand. I want to be able to go to the desktop app and do the same thing. So whether I'm looking at my daily planner or my to do's or my um, whatever, I'm still getting questions. Is the app available for members to start trying now? It is not available in full form. It is available for people that are brave enough to help us start testing it. If you are willing to help us break it, I mean, this is truly the inside scoop. We will absolutely, in about two weeks, have a launched version that will not work properly. We hope to launch the full version in about six weeks. Could take a little bit longer. Uh, does the coupon work for the first year? The $20 plan, if you put in the coupon realtor, you're only paying $15 forever. 
I should have said it's not just the first month, it's forever. So um, it doesn't just cut the price down for one month, it cuts it down forever. So I hope that helps. Same thing on the annual plan, same thing on the premium plan. So these are the desktop pieces that are gonna happen. But how cool is this? I mean, very few people have seen this, but when you come in and you click on your priorities, you'll be able to, you know, click the things that you want and it'll pull up here and then you can drag that onto your desktop and have your priorities staring at you in the face every day saying, today's a hard day, but these are the things that are important. When I was going through this and, and creating my gratitude list, because I, I have access to the app, even though it's broken, I'm beginning to play with it. And these were the 10 things I was grateful for, my faith, my family and children, my health, my father just passed away, my kids are grown, my mother is almost completely blind. I've moved from Jonesboro, Arkansas to Hot Springs, Arkansas. I have moved in with my 86 year old mother, who is hilarious, take me times 10. And I have a beautiful home on the lake with unbelievable sunsets. I'm grateful for the kindness of friends, even the kindness of all of you, for laughter, for pickleball. No kidding, I'm playing a lot of pickleball for the beginning of fall. I just de did these and the, every day's a new day. Even if I procrastinated yesterday, today is a new day. So I don't wanna, you know, to, to go into too much detail or more than you want, but I'd love to have any questions. I wanna make sure that you can register. Um, are there questions? I see some questions in Q and A, um, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to answer these questions. I, if you will put any kind of questions into the chat. Um, uh, I see one that is, what is the website? It's the seven minute life.com. If you will add your questions, Linda registered and want to know when to get started. We will be sending out an email tomorrow to help get you started. Our next class is Let's see if it shows in here. Yep, hang on. Our next class is next Tuesday. Let me share my screen again. So here are the next classes that are coming up. Can you see my screen? I should, I should have blown that up probably. These are the next classes that are coming up. Um, let me make sure in chat. Can you see the screen? Um, making sure. Dorian says, will the app sync with the desktop? Yes, uh, it'll auto sync. You can just use the desktop app and not use the app app. Um, what is the link? We're on YouTube. Do you find me? Just go to YouTube and type in YouTube Allison Lewis, uh, Renee Jordan. She's one of the education directors, so glad to have you. But these are the classes that are coming up. If you go to this link, Florida Realtor Campus and scroll all the way to the very bottom, these are the next several classes that we'll have. So these are the next ones. Why seven minutes, the life-changing strategies. We'll be talking about that one slide and how we can em embrace that next Tuesday, November, October 20th. Busy is killing me. I'm exhausted. How do we get out from that? Um, that obviously, see, we're building this out. November 3rd, three steps to create your ideal work day using a powerful written plan of action. The one on the 10th is public. Um, it's on neuroplasticity, a really cool brain science of productivity and positive change. And then November 12th, we're gonna go into a deep dive of five before 11. How can you really make sure that you're doing, um, that you're actually taking the biggest steps that you can to do the most, the best you can. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm seeing a lot of questions. Um, if you've registered, I think that's great. June, thank you. I see a question from Linda, just signed up. When is it gonna get started? It's gonna start Tuesday. You know, we meet every Tuesday at the same time at 1.15. There'll be some additional things with um, that will be coming up. Carolyn Christian says, how much is it for the year with the discount? If you pay for a year, I think it's four. Well, let me just look, hang on. I'll share my screen again. You'd think I'd know these things. 
Okay, so there are two on the basic plan. If you go to the year, it's always going to be 197. But when you apply the discount code, I should know that, realtor, it is $147 for that with the discount code. So the whole year, 52 webinars for $147.75. All right, let me go to back to the, well, where am I? You would think that I could find my own website. Stay on page, go back. And the annual, that's actually 400. My, my brain is wrong on that, and that is not working. So it's really supposed to be 497 with the discount. It goes down substantially. So let me see if I can't find that link. Hang on. It's more than, it's more of a discount than that. Did y'all find out how much the the bigger discount was. Thank you. Three hundred and seventy two dollars. It is not four hundred and fifty. It's three hundred and seventy two. So how long are the webinars so you can block out the time? They'll we're trying to decide that we are really building this out. We can have them as an hour. Um, they won't be any longer than that, but a, a lot of people are wanting them to be shorter. So we may throw in some shorter things. You'll also have access I mean, we're, we're building this out for you, Carolyn. So um, I'd love to know what you want. We've planned it on an hour right now, 45 minutes of content with um, 15 minutes of questions. Shorter is better, hour or less, perfect. And um, of course, if you are in the premium package, you have, what is that, $372, you have access to all the recordings as well. Um, I'm amazed, we still have a ton of people on the call. I want to make sure that you're asking questions in the chat. Will Shepard, nicely done. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't want to leave anyone if you're struggling with where to find things. Anything else that I can help with? I'm very excited. We are finding some people that are kind of, oh, discount code is Realtor. Is there a discount only during this webinar? No, I hate it when people do that. So no, if you need some time to think about it, you just take your time and think about it. Um, but do tell your friends. I mean, this is kind of a one-off opportunity. I don't believe people are doing this in other type of educational platforms. I'm incredibly grateful for the Florida Realtor Association. So make sure you send out a note to them. Um, any other questions? I'm happy to answer. Everybody's still on the call. I'm, I'm shocked. Thank you. I will give to my friends. Uh, does the discount code work for the next years? I think so. If it doesn't, I will fix it. I think it works in perpetuity as long as you, as long as you say, say in that because it's a, it's a one-time subscription. Now, if you stop the subscription and start back, you know, it'll be a different pricing point, but I think it works forever. How long do the planners last? They last 90 days and it's because Quarters are 90 days, the seasons are 90 days, and I like to have a fresh start. So I've just started my brand new planner for the quarter. Um, that's a great question. Uh, do you ship one every 90 days? We've got to decide that. You know, those are the kind of questions for $50 a month. I think the answer is yes, we should send you a planner every 90 days. Um, I paid for the monthly, can I pay the year at any time and get the discount? Don't know how to do that, but the answer would be yes. Just call us and we'll figure out how to do that. Um, which plan gives the desktop and the weekly classes? All of them give the desktop and the weekly classes. You just don't get the recordings or the monthly one-on-one. -on -one. Um, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Looking forward to the app. Still didn't get the discount code. It's Realtor. Try Realtor. I want to make sure that you can get that. Um, June Mullet, thank you. Sue May, I'm not sure. Thank you, I have to go, but I want to let you know just how this brought light into the chaos. Thanks. The one-on-ones are fabulous. Thank you, Darla. Darla and I have a meeting just after this. We're getting a ton of um, feedback. Linda, the planners go out very quickly, but we're having up to nine days on delivery time, which is ridiculous. Um, 
because of the mail service. So um, I'm not quite positive. Stacy, what is the monthly office hours? The monthly office hours, my platform can hold up to 100 people live um, where I can see it's a meeting, not a webinar. And so we'll be actually holding one-on-one -on -one meetings where you can see me, I can see you. And I should have said that because that's really one of the biggest benefits of all of this is that once a month we'll have a conversation we may also throw in interviews um, there's just a ton june if you will reach out to me in fact if you'll text me 870.897.4494 again don't tell everybody i'm giving out my personal cell phone but i'm so excited about this y'all are going to help us build it um, if you will let us know we'll let you download it in the next week or so the the mobile app because it's broken, we know that. I mean, you'll be able, one of the goes, no, I don't want this button here, I want it here, or I want it to do this. It's very exciting of everything that's going on. So if you want to be one of the people that is the very first beta testers of the mobile app will be done first, then the desktop app probably will be finished in the next six weeks. If you wanna beta test it, I'm already beta testing it. So this has just been great. <laughs> Still a ton of people are on the call. So I hate to hang up until everybody uh you know is ready to go are there any questions um i've still got some people raising their hand in the chat um allison thank you i've signed up and i'm looking forward to getting started i've got to go by uh, i'm not sure how to pronounce your name aisha um, would there be mentors allocated on signing up right now we are doing that actually darla is is helping me um and so i would say yes because i would anticipate that we have we're, this is only the second opportunity to sign up so right now we're going to be doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one, hands-on with you because we've got to build what you want so if you'd like to be uh mentored make sure that you've put in there will be mentoring initially some of you have already gone through some of the mentoring it's going to be a lot of one-on-one -on -one. june just texted you my information gotta go thanks still a bunch of people on the call i want to make sure i'm answering all the questions it's so exciting you know those of you that have been here um, we all want more out of life and you're going to be a part of making this happen not just in your own lives, but by sharing the message for other realtors, you know, it's just going to be a great community where we're going to, we're going to make a difference. So, all right, well, we still have a bunch of people on the call. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. It's amazing. I'm grateful again for the Florida realtors, and I hope to see you on um, next Tuesday if you've signed up, but also um, on November 3rd. So, make sure you tell your friends um, about what we're doing take them to the home page the floor real campus make sure they sign up with the code realtor and they can get the basic plan for 15 bucks a month so can't stand it i'm so excited talk to you next tuesday talk soon thanks bye-bye